From gaming to makeup tutorial videos, these people have gained YouTube celebrity status from all kinds of different content. Other than their large following, they have one other thing in common. They've all passed away. Here are nine dead YouTubers that will be forever missed. First on the list is Ed Gould, Ed's World. Ed Gould was one of three creators of Ed's World, a flash animation comedy channel on YouTube. He passed away on March 25, 2012. Ed's channel, which featured him and his friends doing all sorts of crazy and fun stuff, is now kept running by his two friends, Thomas Ridgewell and Matthew Hargreaves. We, the friends and family of Ed, would like to take this moment to thank you for keeping him company and keeping him strong for all the months he spent in hospital. Thank you. His legacy, though, will live on. Through the hours of animation he's created, the thousands of people he's inspired and befriended, including us. Ed's death was announced in a special video posted on the channel. Up next, we have Brian Rickard, Yote Slayer. Some say it was a freak accident. Others say it was a drunken night gone wrong. Whatever the case, Brian Rickard died in a car crash. Brian was a YouTuber famous for his video game channel, where he played games such as Borderlands and Call of Duty. Right, you can actually see pumpkin number three, but to get a better idea of where it is actually located, here I'm aiming at the location of number two. Just turn straight around and on top of the tomb, you will see pumpkin number three here on top of this tomb here. Now he was found dead on October 23, 2013, in a train collision with his car, leaving behind two sons. Up next on the list is Talia Castellano, Talia Joy 18. Talia Joy Castellano was known for her makeup tutorials and fashion videos on YouTube. At just 13, Talia was suffering from neuroblastoma, which is a rare cancer of the peripheral nervous system. And then the eyes are just dramatic and they have green and gold in them. I put some gold for childhood cancer awareness month. And then the green, obviously I love green. Um, and I love it on my eyes. And then I put purple and then added black in the crease. But once you see up close, it looks like purple. But you could definitely tone out the smoky of it because I kind of smoked it out a lot. But I just really love this look um, and I hope you guys do too. Diagnosed when she was only seven, Talia began documenting and vlogging about her experience. Unfortunately, she lost her life on July 6, 2013 after battling bravely for six years. Daniel Cry, Sindago. Daniel Cry was part of Sindago, which is mainly known for their comedy skits. It seemed unlikely, but this happy-go-lucky YouTuber attempted suicide on September 16, 2015. He died two days later in the hospital when his family decided to take him off life support. Sindago has since announced they will no longer be creating future videos because of Daniel's passing. I just want to remind you guys, um, check out my uh, DVD, Acting With Yourself, with George Costanza. Um, there I'm going to teach you a lot of acting tips, directing tips, um, act directing as I call it. Um, something I do in my spare times. Um, I act and direct. Um, uh, just come check it out, the DVD. Come check it out. Um, come check it out, the DVD, and check out the movie. Rated Up next on our list is Caleb Logan Bradley. The Bradley family is your average fun-loving family with one difference. They have an active YouTube channel with millions of subscribers. On their channel, called Bradley, the family vlogs regularly about the adventures of their everyday lives. Unfortunately, on October 1st, 2015, the eldest son, Caleb, was pronounced dead. The family announced that Caleb had likely died due to a condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a rare heart condition that frequently goes undetected. Oh. Ask my future self. See, because I asked like my five second earlier self to my five second other self what the question of the day was. <laughs> oh man, I'm funny. Okay, anyways, if, what, if, what would you ask? If you could ask future self one question, what would it be? See you guys tomorrow. Next on our list is Freddie E. Buell, who had Jerk TV. Artist and online personality Freddie E. Buell, otherwise known as Freddie E., died of an apparent suicide on January 5, 2013. He was known for his YouTube channel, Jerk TV, where he uploaded comedy videos and rants. Why, why you gotta come at short girls like that, though? That's not nice, Freddie. You tall girls be the rudest ones. If a short guy tried to holler at you, this is exactly what would happen. Shut up, mamas. Can I get you a drink? Oh, you got 
to be kidding me. Since when did he start letting minors in the park? His fans took to the internet blaming his ex-girlfriend rapper Honey Cocaine for causing the suicide, but she adamantly refuses that she had any part to play in it. Then there's Jam Sebastian with Jamich TV. Popular Filipino YouTube couple Jam Sebastian and Michelle Ligayu posted videos on their channel Jamich TV, where they documented their relationship and their views on love. Si Mitch, nagset ako ng deadline na kapag hindi mo ko sinagot, titigil na ako sa panligaw. Medyo feeling ko kasi parang nare-reject mo ko palagi. Hindi tayo para sa isa't isa. Their followers were shocked to learn that Jam had been diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. Jam died months later on March 4th, 2014. He was just 28 years old. Renee Davis, Nana Loves Troubles. Renee Davis, or finally known as Nana by her followers, ran a YouTube channel called Nana Loves Troubles. Her channel mainly focused on covers of different songs and her baby named Alan. Although Nana was ridiculed by many because of her weight issues, she was also beloved by her 80,000 YouTube followers. But love, peace, and applesauce rise above the hate and always be inspired no matter what comes towards you i love you guys so much and thank you for the support because without the support i have from my family and my friends and you guys i probably wouldn't have been able to do it so love you guys Bye. nana died on october 17 2014 because of multiple skin infections and ultimately kidney failure and she was only 32 when she passed. Ernest Barry Elliott, Iraq veteran 888. Commonly known as Barry Elliott, Ernest Elliott was one of the founders of the YouTube channel Iraq veteran 888. The channel boasted of providing the most varied assortment of gun-related content on YouTube. From gun reviews to having fun with different weapons, the channel was a haven for gun enthusiasts. We have the ever-present 500 Smith & Wesson. This is kind of heavy medicine for a zombie. You really don't need to pop them with 500 grains of lead, but uh, this is the 500 Smith & Wesson. It does make quite the mess, though. Oh, yes, it does. But it wasn't a bullet that ultimately took his life. The vibrant 59-year-old died on April 12, 2014, after suffering a heart attack. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to stay up to date with more lists.